Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video we are doing concealer and powder and just a simple eye look. Something quick and simple to get us out the door, get us going. And today I use some items that I haven't picked up in a very long time as always. <laughs> As always <laughs> yeah so this was the look I was able to achieve so if you want to see how I got this simple look then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, for today's primer, I'm going to use my Elf Cookies and Dream and my Rare Beauty Primer today. Little focus. Uh, we need to be really moisturized today because we're just doing concealer and powder. Even though I'm oily combo, like I have to make sure I'm really moisturized so my skin doesn't try to produce more oils and powders as you know can dry your skin out i found a powder in my stash that of course i have not used in ages and i need to use it because what's the sense of just sitting there so let's see with me doing my new powder trick <laughs> if i can wear it you know because i just found no need to wear it i can honestly say it probably that probably was a waste of my money. Like I wasted my money on this one because it's not something that I put pick up at all. If this is twenty twenty three, I probably purchased it last year, and this will be my first time picking it up this year. So yeah. And the Rare Beauty is really moisturizing. And we need that. And it feels good. I try to water. There's water in. It leaves your skin feeling so silky. Let me zoom y'all in. So silky smooth. Let's put the light on. Come on, Donna. Are you even ready to film today? Probably not. Okay, and a little bit of my paint pot. That's the way it looked like I wasn't ready to film, right? You know, the finger to melt it in. I see um, some people posted the Sephora sale, like when it's, when it's happening, toward the end of October. And the concealer I'm about to use today. So I'm going to use my Best Skin Ever Concealer in 44Y and 33.5Y. One is kind of my complexion shade, the 44 it has yellow in it, and then the 33, of course, is to highlight with. But I'm just going to use a tad bit because the powder is so full of coverage, I don't want to get cake face. So I'm just going to place it any place that I might have a little discoloration, which is mainly around the mouth area. there and we're gonna lightly blend this as so lightly as we can matter of fact we're just gonna take an eyeshadow brush and we're gonna do it like this because I feel like the uh you call it thing the powder is gonna cover this anyway it's kind of like color correct there but not really <laughs> so I'm just making up stuff as I go. Y'all can't hold me true to what I'm saying. Because believe you me, I'm just making it up as I go. <laughs> ah.
And you see how little I put on my face and how much coverage that concealer gave? Like that concealer gave maximum coverage. I didn't know that. I really didn't. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that to give this much coverage. I wasn't. Hmm. Wait a minute. We might got a newie. Now let's take 33.5 and let's highlight. Y'all got y'all Sephora sale list down? Ready? Drop down and let me know what you plan on getting. Me, I just think it's going to be stuff from the Sephora collection and maybe a perfume or two. Like it doesn't, or and I want to try the Tower 28 concealer that everyone is raving about. Other than that, not a whole lot. And I'm going to let that sit because we're not really doing eyeshadow today. Can you believe it? No, we're just going to focus on the face. So I'm going to take my Warriors palette from Juvia's. Take the brown shade, well, the brown and the red shade. I'm gonna mix those two together and we're just putting that in the crease only. I already, I didn't even set my lids with not concealer or nothing. I just put translucent powder on top so that my lids wouldn't be oily. And we're just doing this in the crease to give the eyes some shape. but nothing on the lid. This is what you call a really lazy <laughs> makeup day I, most of my makeup days are lazy <laughs> except for on the weekends on the weekends and i be doing a little extra but for the most part like all of my makeup days are lazy <laughs> i don't do too much y'all Y'all see how that just makes it look like I got on shadow, but I really don't. So out of V in the transition area, we're going to come back and blend because I don't know about this concealer. And how long I'm supposed to be letting it sit there like that. Let's highlight now. Just what we needed to do. <laughs> yeah, this is the full coverage concealer from Sephora. I had their foundation, but I think I had to throw it away because I had it for so long. And I don't think it was good, any good. So I might pick up that, I know for sure. I'll pick that up. It's okay to use brushes, y'all, <laughs> to blend out your makeup. I know everybody's using like a sponge to blend everything, but brushes is kind of how I started my makeup. So it's kind of like all I know how to use is my brushes sometimes. I'll use a sponge, but I'm not a fan of the sponge. Mm 
nice soft face. Let's get back to blending the eyeshadow now. Because we want it to be blended. I was trying to think like what perfume I was interested in. I know I need some more of my Lancome, Calm, but I'm all out. Two bottles, I'm done. I'm going to cry so bad. But usually for Christmas, their site usually have 50% off the entire site. So I think I'm going to wait. So it's either Black Friday or maybe around Christmas time. Yeah, they, because that's where I got the last two bottles from because they were 50% off. So I got like two huge bottles for like $100. So I need to wait. I think I'll wait for their sale. And make sure you get the inner part because we don't want that gap in coverage. And blend it into the front of your eyebrows. This is a, a definite must to blend it into the front of the brow. Okay. And it's just a game of blending <laughs> until you can't blend no more. Okay. Especially around the edges. Focus on like those little, the edge of it. That's what you're trying to blend. Okay, I'm going to take the kind of brown shade, which is more so um, my foundation, I mean my skin tone shade, and I'm going to put that on the lid just so my lid doesn't get oily, because my eyelids will get oily, but as you can see, it doesn't add much color, like this is very close to my skin tone. A flesh tone shade, if you don't have this palette. Just so my lids don't get oily. And then that's it. We're going to put on some liner. And I'll be right back. And because we don't need any more uh, color underneath the eye, I'm going to use my Derma Blend in the original one. No color. To set this concealer. And catch my eyebrows too because they get super duper oily, oily, oily. They get super duper oily. I don't know if uh, Sephora sells dermal band, but I see I just went back to this and fell crazy in love with it. And now I see that I'm almost out. I doubt if they sell Dermal Blend. If they do, I would pick this up on the sale. Okay, for powder, the powder powder that I found in my stash. Is this Gucci Matte Powder. And I have it in the shade 10. Right. I think this was really, really wasteful for me. Because I never pick it up. It comes with a cute little bag. The, the case and all of that is absolutely beautiful. Like they spared no expense on the packaging. What? Is this my color? I went and grabbed this thing. Like, so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm about to put this on my face. <laughs> no, you is crazy. 
things. Is it my shade? Does it get darker? Let me stop before I'm talking about some. Oh, that's the problem, huh? It wasn't my shade. Let me start right here. Nah, this ain't my foundation shade. I'm gonna put this underneath my eye. But this ain't my foundation shade. Oh, that's why I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, let's say that here. I didn't know why I didn't pick it up. Cause I guess I had to use it to highlight with. That's why I don't pick it up. Cause it ain't my okay. light that they need. Okay, I'll just put it right there underneath the eye. Now I gotta go find a powder because that was my main um, thing today that I was just gonna use a powder. And I had my MAC powder somewhere around here. We'll just use that if I can find it. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I got my MAC NC47 powder. That's what we'll use to do the face. And y'all know I'm going to do the wet brush thing to give me maximum coverage. It dries so fast, I guess, because you're just spraying it, really. So it's not like your brush is, like, soaking wet. It dries so fast. You just want a little bit of spray on it. To get you that full coverage. Glam. With a no work. Am I? Yeah, forehead done. I love this trick. Why did I think that should, that goes to show you that I don't pick up stuff a lot? Because I totally forgot that the Gucci was not my foundation shade. Yeah, so that was a big time. Big time waste of my money. But I can only use that to highlight with, to set a light, the lighter parts of my face with. But we shall proceed. Okay, spray, now spray the whole face. Okay, let's do a little bronzing with our Juvia's Place Deep Dark. Shape the face. And for lips, I think I just want to do brown liner with a clear gloss because that's the most simplest lip for the simplest face ever. So my Vintage by Beauty Bay. Here I am still trying to look in that mirror that's all the way over there. I like this um, lip color brown it's the perfect in between it's not too warm it's not too cool it's just the perfect medium i 
yeah and then I'll take some I found this in my stash just bulk some clumping lip gloss and Dominique I can imagine it's a clear shade yeah and it has a little sparkle in it <laughs> a little sparkle going on I don't know how this is about to play out but and let's see just in the center the sparkles are not in your face like that Mm. I love a good fuck some plumping gloss. Hey, okay, y'all know the drill. If I could find my what I did with it, here it is. Eyeshadow brush. We go back. And now that the lashes and liner and all of that is on, then we kind of see, really see what more we need to blend. Which is hopefully not a lot, you know. But just making sure and you put forth an effort to blend. And I think I think this is gonna be the completed look. I need to stop while I'm ahead because I can get carried away. We know that. And the idea of today's look was to keep it simple. These are my Amazon lashes. Pinched them. I put them on, right? And then once I think that they're completely dry, then I pinch them with my natural lashes to make sure they're on there. We can spray. And go get dressed. But this so far is the very quick and simple face. All right, guys. We made it back to the completed simple face look using the most random products ever. The Gucci powder foundation. So today I found out it wasn't my foundation shade. It's a good shade to highlight with. As you can see, it gave me no problems there. And I love the Sephora concealer. Brown lip liner and a gloss is a never fail for me. You know, because most times my lip combos be giving me problems. <laughs> is that a braid? Yeah, gotta fix that. But, uh, yeah, so this is the completed, simple workday look, and I'm satisfied. I'm good to go. If you enjoyed today's video, uh, drop down and let me know what you plan on picking up from the Sephora sale. I did tell y'all that earlier. I'm really interested just in case I'm leaving out something that I must pick up. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.